I know today's topic is going to get a lot of criticism from both sides of the camp, whether you are supportive of CPF or whether you are anti-CPF. But the fact here is Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong just announced in the recent budget 2023 and one of the main highlights is that the CPF monthly salary ceiling will be raised from $6,000 currently to $8,000 by 1st January 2026. Now just in case you missed my post on the changes, you can refer to this picture right here where I will show you, depending on the timeline, what is the changes to the CPF monthly salary ceiling. And you see the earliest change is coming from 1st of September this year, where it will be raised to $6,300 subsequently next year and the following year until 2026, where it will finally be raised to $8,000. And if you want this picture, you can come to my Telegram group and download this picture and save it to your gallery or even share it to your friends, right? In this group, we even share like credit card hacks, good CPF tips, things to help you achieve your financial independence. So come and join us. It's free at Honey Money SG Telegram group. So with this very huge and breaking announcement, there will be three camps of people, you know. So the number one camp, camp number one, these are the people who are really happy for it. What are CPF? You see, because now there is more contributions coming from the employer, right? Because previously, 17% is paid from the employer on $6,000 salary. Now it increased to $8,000, which means employees must contribute 17% more on the additional $2,000 of salary. And then the second group of people from Camp 2, these are the people who are really angry and frustrated one. Wow, previously, my $6,000 salary, gonna makan 20% are very sad already. Now my $8,000 salary also get makan 20%. By the way, makan means eat in Malay. So it means that these people are unhappy that a bigger portion of their take-home pay is being taken away by the CPF board, even though it's their own contributions. Because you see that previously for employee contributions of 20%, 20% of $6,000 is only 1.2K, $1,200. But now if 20% is applied on $8,000, that amount will now be $1,600, which means a reduction of $400 in the take-home pay of this employee who is drawing $8,000 gross salary monthly. Now, there is also a camp number three, and this group of people will be saying, I don't care or I don't even bother because I don't understand. And this group of people is either they are earning way below 6 k for them to care or they are earning way above the 8 k for them to even give a heck about CPF. So this is just a very brief summary. Which camp do you think you are in? I'll go through in detail each of these camps after the word from the sponsor. I told you all right, good opportunities don't last forever because the previous 150 US dollars promo for Weibo has been gone. So now don't miss the current Weibo offer because they are giving you five free stocks that are worth up to $500 when you place any amount of deposit and hold your funds for at least 30 days. Now you will get five lucky draw spin chances and you get from $10 to $100 per spin of fractional stocks from companies like Tesla, Apple, Amazon and Google. So with 5 lucky draw spins, you can get up to $500 worth of fractional shares if you are that lucky enough. To be super clear, there is no more complicated requirements like buying some US stock or mutual funds or that kind of thing. To add on, Weibo has finally launched their short option feature which means that you can now do sell option strategy like cash secured puts or covered call or even iron condor option trading strategies if you are that experienced in options. So hurry up and click on my referral link down below or scan a QR code right here to get your Weibo account today. So now let's go through each of these three camps, right? Camp 1, Camp 2 and Camp 3. Which camp do you think you are in? And let's make a very huge assumption here. Let's say you are a 34 years old manager working for a company. So this is your current pay package. If this employee is drawing 8,000 of monthly salary gross, and then you are getting two months of bonus. So that means 16K, right? Two months, two times 8,000 gives you 16K, which means your annual income is a 14 months pay package. And there will be 112,000 of annual income for this employee. So for those who are in camp number one, here is how you would think. Your current salary cap is at $6,000. So your CPF self is only taking out 1.2K because 20%, right? So your take-home pay is 8,000 minus 1.2K, which means you are currently drawing 
6.8k as your take home pay so that is for the cpf employee side but how about the cpf employer side because employer contributions is at 17 percent so at the current cap of 6,000 monthly salary ceiling the employer side is 17 percent employer will be contributing 1020 dollars by 2026 the employer contribution will be 17 percent multiplied by eight thousand dollars which is 1360 dollars so you take 1360 divide by 1020 that's an effective 340 dollars additional that is paid by the employer so you see overall there is a net gain in your net worth right because even though you're contributing 400 more of your own money to the cpf your employer is giving you 340 dollars more to your cpf as well so that's an overall net gain in your personal net worth if you count cpf as your money so that's camp number one now let's go to camp number two this one is more interesting so these are the people who really are quite frustrated because they want to enjoy higher take-home pay their take-home pay based on the current rule of six thousand salary ceiling will be eight thousand dollars minus 1.2k and that will be 6.8k take-home pay now by year 2026 if they are still earning eight thousand dollars a month that means that 20 percent of it which is one thousand six hundred dollars will be taken away from the eight thousand which means they will be left with 6.4k so you see the take home pay has decreased from 6.8k to 6.4k meaning a $400 reduction in take-home pay. But this $400 is not lost, you know. It is being deposited into the CPF account according to their CPF allocation rate. And these people in Camp 2 will feel really cheated because previously they had $400 extra per month. Okay, now it's taking away $400 to put in CPF and they are very unhappy about it. But in actual fact, you do gain additional $340 from your employer, right? Because previously, your employer only contribute that 17% on $6,000 now they have to contribute 17 percent on eight thousand dollars that is additional 340 dollars more going into your cpf you know now albeit the increase is in the cpf balance so if you think cpf is not your money then you will feel really cheated lah. so all this depends on your perspective of the cpf do you think cpf is your money that is the question now let's move on to camp 3 camp 3 i will separate it into two different camps so for camp 3a these are the people earning way below 6k maybe they are like fresh graduates or entry level employees so they are only taking home like 3 to 4k so they will not really want to watch this video as well because 6k or 8k doesn't matter to them it's such a far away target maybe after they have worked for a few more years then they will start to appreciate how does the monthly salary ceiling affect their own take-home pay and their CPF balances. But the more interesting one is Camp 3B because you don't care and you don't care. The reason is because you know that your salary is so high that this $6,000 or $8,000 doesn't matter. And I think that is a really valid thinking because although the ordinary wage ceiling has been raised from 6k to 8k your real cpf salary annual ceiling is not raised it's remaining at hundred and two thousand dollars and if you're familiar with the way wages are calculated it will be divided between ordinary wage and additional wage so ordinary wage is your basic monthly pay right which is eight thousand dollars and then your additional wage is your bonus which is the two months that i talk about 16k so if your ordinary wage is eight thousand dollars multiplied by 12 which is 90 6k you take that 102k minus 96k you're left with 6k of additional wages that is subjected to cpf so six thousand dollars is your additional wage that is eligible for cpf contributions but remember your two months bonus is 16k you know so out of this 16k only 6k is eligible for cpf your 10k will not attract any cpf you will not contribute 20 percent your employer also will not contribute that 17 percent so that 10k is sort of wasted depending on which camp you are in so you see in the end your net impact is the same because you earn so much more than hundred and two thousand dollars and that is because of the cap of the annual cpf salary ceiling so unless they raise the cpf annual salary ceiling from one hundred and two thousand dollars to like 17 months of 8k then i think the net impact for high income earners is still the same they don't need to bother so i would say don't look at facebook comments and internet opinions too much lah. these people don't really have deep thoughts if you really want deep thoughts you need to watch this video again because it will really change which camp do you think you are in you thought you were in camp one but you realize you are in camp 3b and you thought you were in camp two 
but you realize you're in camp 3B as well if you're that high income earner. So I would say that this salary ceiling change will affect the supercharge strategy more. And just in case you do not know what is this CPF supercharging strategy, I would need to refer you to my previous video where I will teach you and share how you can supercharge your CPF SA and subsequently your CPF OA in this video right here.